I mentioned this $444 million reef hound out that we've just lost totally, and there's Malcolm Turnbull. Malcolm Turnbull's fast-tracked a $444 million reef hand out. And, of course, the important thing down here, you can talk about it as much as you like, expenditure review, all this. Now, this money has all – it wasn't like it was pledged and they get it when they need it. It was just given to them without any justification, without any kind of – projects that they had looming oh we need it for this project it was just just a meeting and it was given to them now of course if we look down here the questions continue to swell about the decision to hand the money over to the organization which at the time included two former colleagues of mr turnbull at goldman sachs investment bank as its directors so you got stephen fitzgerald he was there from 1992 to 2012 and keith tuffley former managing director of goldman sachs now i'll just jump down to some information down here. <laughs> Labor Senator Christina Keneally has, has been challenging the government in the Senate. There's one clear fact that has emerged so far. Malcolm Turnbull did a deal behind closed doors to give his friends from investment banking $444 million of public money. Now, she's 100% correct. There's there's no requirement for them to report what they've spent it on. They've just, it's just gone. It's 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 just disappeared now. We, we Australians never get to see it again. And Malcolm Turnbull says down here. It's been for Mr. Turnbull said the government is preserving the Great Barrier Reef. The funding will control Crown of Thorns and you know all that kind of emotional stuff. Showing an animal, oh look at it. Um, but the problem is, there's the Great Barrier Reef Authority. Now what's meant to happen is the money goes to the authority, and the authority holds it until these charities can, can, and foundations can show oh, we're going to spend it on this, and they look at it and look at the validity of it and what the results are going to be, and they go, okay, well, you can have some money. That's all been bypassed, okay? But what I couldn't really work out is the figure. I thought, why $444 million? Why, why not $500 million? Why not $300 million? I just could not figure out why it was around that figure. And then I thought, I'll just have a quick look at this. And another matter that involved Goldman Sachs and Mr. Turbo. The grass settles $450 million, not far off, H, I, H claim over FAI insurance. And if we just scroll down here, I'm not going to read through all of it. Let's get to the part about Goldman Sachs. There it is. The main defendants were Berkshire Hathaway and right at the bottom, Wall Street Investment Bank, Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs local subsidiary, Goldman Sachs Australia, was a defendant, as was the Malcolm Turnbull. You should go to this article and read what they did wrong. Geez, they were slimy. FAI, got Goldman's advice to sell at FAI, they did that thing where they had give advice to someone else that they wouldn't do, and that, that was part of the um, that was part of their the suit. And um, yeah, it's um, just I, I just can't get over. The, how close the two figures were, because I couldn't figure out why 444 million. <laughs> I'm not sure if, if this is, there's our 444 million, it's 450 million. <laughs> is that just pure coincidence that Goldman Sachs paid 450 million, and according to Labor Senator Christina Keneally, Goldman Sachs has been paid back. Almost 450 million. Oh, and also, this was done on the day of the 30 news polls. Turnbull was apparently going to get it going, doing it in case they challenged him, but he wouldn't have that authority. I'm not sure. There it is. The Australian can reveal that the meeting at which the grant was communicated was April 9 occurred the day Mr. Turnbull copped his 30th negative news poll. I don't know. Look, I could be way off base here. It just seems um, a bit coincidental. Like I said, 444. What, a, what an odd figure. If they had said 450, <laughs> exactly, well, that would have settled it. But 444, oh, maybe there's a bit of doubt there. <laughs> they really think about these things, don't they? Well, there you go. Make of it what you will.